with Jesus all day long. Every second, Lord, every day we will walk, talk, and be with you every second of every day, Lord, because we need you every second of every day. That's why we're here right now. That is why we're all here right now. Seeking your face six days a week in fellowship. And remember the Sabbath and keep it holy. We're seeking your face seven days a week, Lord. Seven days a week. We're seeking your face. And we know how much we love you, how much we need you. Can't live without you. Got to have you every second of every day. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. Praise God. We feel your presence right now, Lord. We feel your presence in this place. We feel your presence in this place right now. Right now. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise your name, Father God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, just let it go, Lord. Just feel his presence. Just feel his presence. Just feel his presence. Remember, there's no there's no greetings during prayer time. Remember, there are no greetings during prayer time. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Our soul says yes, Lord. As we give it all to you right now, we just give everything to you right now. We give everything to you right now as we rest in this place, as we rest in this place and say thank you. Thank you. We feel your love. We feel your peace. We feel the joy. Hallelujah. Take it over right now. Take it over right now in this place, Lord. As we come together around the world right now, we come together around the world singing the praises to your name. Thank you. Thank you. As we rest in you right now, Lord, as we rest in you right now, resting in your presence, resting, resting, resting. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord, we feel your love right now, Lord. We feel your love right now in this place, Lord. As we're learning now to focus, Lord, we're learning to focus, Lord, and be obedient to your word, Lord, to sing praises to your name and just rest in you, Lord. And when it's time to rest, to completely rest, Lord, to rest with no distractions, to rest with no temptation, to rest with no care in this world, pulling you away from us, Lord. Or should I say, pulling us away from you, Lord? Because you're already there, Lord. You're the same yesterday, today, and forevermore, Lord. We just say thank you right now as a fellowship, as we come together around the world, Lord, as we come together around the world, singing praises to your name. And just lifting up your name of Jesus, just lifting up the name of Jesus to say thank you for all you've done for us, Lord. Thank you for all the ways you're moving, all the ways you have moved, and all the ways you will move, Lord, in our life. We thank you in advance for victory, in advance for healing, in advance for breakthrough, in advance for miracles, in advance for whatever it is we need, Lord. You are. I am that I am. And just tell them, I am sent you. You are whatever we need you to be, Lord. And as we rest right now, Lord, as we rest in your presence, we just let you take over right now, Lord. We just let you take over right now. Cause we know how real you are, Lord. We know exactly how you real you are to each one of us in this place. And we know exactly what it is. We know exactly how to give it up to you right now, Lord. Cause like the song says, you are so real to me. The only way we're here right now is because you've been real to each person who can hear my voice. No one is here by accident. No one. You're handpicked to be here right now at this appointed time to rest in his presence. So real.
thank you, Jesus. You've been so real to each one of us, Lord. So real to each one of us, Lord, right now. We just say thank you. We say thank you right now, Lord, as you're moving through the fellowship right now, Lord. As you're removing every worry, every fear, every debt, every challenge, every infirmity. As we cast all our care on you, Lord, for you care for each one of us right now. Live archive, on the screen, off the screen, Lord, you care for each one of us. We say thank you right now, Lord. As you see, the title of the day is Kingdom Biz. As I woke up this morning, all the Holy Spirit kept saying was healing, 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 whether it's peace of mind, whether it's physical ailments. He just kept saying healing. If you've been dealing with anything this week, any kind of struggle, any kind of stress, any kind of anxiety, any kind of mess in the world that's trying to steal your joy or your peace. Give me a thumbs up right now. Give me a thumbs up. If you've been battling anything spiritually, mentally, or emotionally. Because today, our day of focus of healing today is to put whatever it is on your mind right now, on your spirit that's heavy. Whatever is on your, on your mind or spirit that's heavy, today's lesson is heal that. Healing, whatever it is, whatever it is. So our mission during the lesson today is to truly let that thing go and give it to the Lord. Truly let that thing go and give it to the Lord. Not to friends, not to family, not to relatives of any kind. Just give it to the Lord. Lay it on the altar. And once you lay it on the altar, what do we do? We trust him and let go. Let me say that again. Once you lay that thing on the altar, trust him and let it go. We got to learn to let go. We got to learn to let go. Things are holding on to us. Things are kind of, things keep trying to pull us back into yesterday, pull us back into old man, pull us back into laziness and not worship and not praise his name every name, every day. So Father God, right now, right now, Lord, right now, right now, we as a fellowship, we as a fellowship right now, give it all to you right now, Lord. We give everything to you right now, Lord. Every part of our life, every one in our life, every situation, every struggle, every fear, every anxiety, every worry, whatever it is, if it's not like God, if it is not like God, give it to the Lord and let it go. Give it to the Lord and let him have it. Because it's just you and me, Lord, you and me, you and me. And nobody else, Lord, you and me can make this thing happen, can make it through the storm, through the struggle, through the fear. You say, I will never leave you or forsake you. I'll be with you even to the end of the age. So we are never, ever alone, ever. Just you and me, Lord. Just you and me.
you and me, Lord, just you and me, just you and me. Thank you, Jesus. So many times we're praying for everybody else and forget that we need to refill, recharge ourselves. We spend so much time praying for others, we forget that we need to be recharged as well. And whenever you come into his presence like this, whenever you bask in his presence, you are refilling, rejuvenating, re-energizing to be able to go out and pray again for someone else or with someone. But standing still in his presence is for you to feel his love, his presence all over you, his anointing all over you. The blood of Jesus covering each one of us right now, head to foot. The blood of Jesus flowing through our blood vessels right now, healing every diseased and diseased cell in our body. But we got to remember to rest. He says, come to me, all ye who labor, and I will give you rest. But we must remember to come to him. We must remember to have no fear, stand still. We must remember to be still and know that I am God. Psalm 46:10, be still and know that I am God. Exodus 14, 13, have no fear, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. You will not need to fight this battle, just rest. Thank you, Jesus, for touching the fellowship right now, Lord. Thank you for touching the fellowship wherever they are in the world right now, day or night. As corporately right now, we come together just to bask in your presence. To give you everything in our life, everyone, every situation, every job, every relationship, every family member. Whatever it is, it is, we need to lift right now, Lord. We give you everything right now because we trust you with everything in our life. And we let it go. We let go of the worries. We, get, we let go of the fear and the anxiety and the stress and the insomnia and the sleepless nights. We let it go, Lord. And we give it all to you right now because we trust you. Isaiah 26, 3, thou should keep him in perfect peace. Perfect peace. Perfect peace whose mind is stayed on him because we trust him. If I've got it right now, we as a fellowship, we as a fellowship, Lord, are coming together right now at this appointed time to rest in you, Lord to leave the world at the door and only focus on you, Lord. 
only focus on your peace, your joy, your presence, your healing, your power. If you feel your mind trying to go back to the world right now, rebuke it. Let me say it again. Right now, do our exercise in today's lesson is completely stand still in his presence and don't let a single thought of the world come into your mind. To focus completely, to focus completely on you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We let it go, Lord. We let it go, Lord. We let it go, Lord. Take over, Lord. I give it all to you, Lord. I give it all to you right now. There is no fear in you, Lord. There is no fear in you. Because you did not create a spirit of fear, but of love. Sound mind. That's all we focus on. Love. Power. Sound mind. Love. Power. Sound. His unconditional love. Power in the name of Jesus. Power in the blood of Jesus. And a sound mind that comes with keeping your mind stayed on Him. Because we trust. We trust with all our heart and lean not to our own understanding. in all our ways. We acknowledge you, Lord, and know without a shadow of a doubt, you will direct our path. Let it go. Let it go. Feel the weight lifting. Feel the worries lifting. If you really laid it on the altar, you should feel his peace overtaking you right now. Let me say that again. If you feel the weight lifting, it means you truly let go. If you still feel stress, you haven't let go yet. You gotta let it go. Open your hand completely. I want you to close your fist right now. Close your fist right now. And now open your hand all the way. Open your hand. And as you open your hand, say, I let it go, Lord. Make a fist, make a fist. Open your hand. I let it go, Lord. I let it go. I'm giving it to you, Lord. I'm giving everything to you, Lord. I'm, I'm trusting, Lord. I'm giving you everything, Lord. I'm trusting. Trusting. I must trust. I must trust. Giving it all to you. Amen, Jonna. That's exactly that's exactly the message. What we're doing. We're giving everything to him right now. Giving it all to the Lord every day. We cannot walk in stress. We cannot live in fear. Give it to the Lord every day. Give him every worry. 
every stress, every anxiety, whatever it is you're dealing with, every day, the devil's always trying to steal our joy, our peace of mind. But what we're doing right now is being still and know that God's got this, that God's in charge. And just rest in it right now. Rest in his loving arms. Rest in his peace beyond understanding. Rest. 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 Let it go, let it go, let it go.
Yes, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Have your way right now. You are the potter. We are the clay. Mold us, Lord. Mold us in what you need us to be. Today, every day, have your way, Lord. Have your way every day, in every way. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We give it all to you right now, Lord. We just say thank you right now as we humbly bow, Lord. We humbly bow in your presence and say, use me, Lord. Use me as you see fit for the kingdom. And right now, Lord, as we've laid everything on the altar, Lord, as we've laid everything on the altar, and we've let it go, Lord, we let you do, we let you do what you do best, Lord. For you are the bird remover, the yoke destroyer, the way maker, the miracle worker, the mountain mover, the great physician. You, Lord, are the strong tower in each of our lives, whose hand we never let go, Lord. We never, ever let go of your unchanging hand. The same yesterday, today, forevermore. You, Lord, are the air we breathe. As a deer pants for the water, so our soul longs after you, Lord, every single day, Lord. And now that we trust you, Lord, now that we trust you, everything in your hands, Lord, we have no fear, no worry, no stress, because we gave it to you, Lord. And we trust you, Lord. And we say thank you right now, Lord for victory and for breakthrough and for healing and de deliverance whatever it is right now lord each fellowship member has on their heart right now it's already done it is already finished now trust him it is already finished trust him say it right now i trust you lord let's say it together i trust you lord i trust you lord i trust you lord oh, thank you jesus you save me all the hurt and pain you saved me so I can live again I thank you Lord all you brought me through oh Lord I'm in love with you say it again say it again you saved me all the hurt and pain you saved me so I can live again. Thank you, Lord. All you brought me through. Oh, Lord. I'm in love with you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We claim the victory right now, Lord, in advance. We claim the victory in advance for whatever each fellowship member is facing right now. We already claim the victory. It is already done. It is already done. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We just let it go, Lord. We rest in you, Lord. We feel you taking over right now. We feel you taking over right now. Every situation is in your hands, Lord. Every situation is in your hands and we just trust you because we know it's going to be all right. We sing it every day. Every time I walk, I talk, I pray, I say with Jesus, it's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. It is already done. It is already done now. We must wait for the Lord. It is already finished. Wait for the Lord. And those who wait on the Lord, those who wait for the Lord shall gain strength. 
Those who wait on the Lord will gain the strength you need to hold on, will gain the strength you need to make it through the storm, will gain the strength you need to be able to make it. For we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. It is Christ who gives us the strength we need. It is Christ who gives us the strength to make it through the storm, to make it through the lion's den in your life, to make it through the fiery furnace in your life, through Christ. And that's why we trust him. That's why we let go. That's why we just say, thank you, Jesus, for taking this cup from us, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for moving in our life. For we hold on, Lord, every single day, Lord. We hold on to your unchanging hand every single day. Because we cannot do this alone, Lord. We cannot live in this world without you, Lord. It's bigger than us, Lord. And that's why we walk in obedience to cast all our care on you for you care for us thank you jesus thank you jesus yes lord thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus and now we go even deeper Before we go into intercessory prayer, we go even deeper into, into his presence. The focus during this song, Alleluia, is to focus on completely letting go of everything you're worried about. Everything, everything. The song, Alleluia with an A, it means worship and true stillness is completely resting in the Lord not thinking about a single thing in the world but trusting every every part of your life so during this song during this song it's all about lifting it up right now during this song, you talk Lord about taking care of you. Intercessory prayers next. Right now, we worry about you. So we can go out and be mighty warriors and pray for others. So during this song, the only texting is you talking to the Lord. The only message you put on the screen is talk to him. Thank you, Jesus.
see how hard it is to pray for yourself? Intercessory prayer is where we pray for others, but so many times we forget to pray for ourselves, And that's what this whole moment today about until intercessory prayer, this whole lesson right now is learning how to pray for yourself and re-energize yourself and then you pray for your family and others. And our heart was to pray for others, and our family and our loved ones, but we always forget to pray for ourselves. We need rejuvenating. We need recharging. We need to be able to be used by God. But if you never stop and pray for yourself, you're depriving the very presence that we're giving to others when we pray for them. So that's why things were being deleted. If your comment was not about refilling yourself, that's what intercessory prayer is for. In intercessory prayer, now we pray for each other. But at some point, we've always got to pray for us to be able to have the strength to pray for others, to be refilled with the anointing to pray for others, to be able to feel his love overtake us and bask recharge refill with the anointing and then go forth and pray for others i just want to make make that clear why things were being deleted during the prayer time because everybody who left the prayer just now for your family or whatever as we go into intercessory prayer that's where you leave that but this time right now this entire lesson was helping us learn how to fill us up to be able to be used by God to pray for others. We are mighty warriors for Christ to be used by God at any time. But a warrior must be rested. A warrior must be refilled before he goes on the battlefield. And when we pray for others, we are on the battlefield for someone else. So we got to make sure our armor is firm, our faith is refilled, our anointing is refilled, our trust is refilled. The blood of Jesus in us is refilled. And now, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We just thank you. We thank you. We thank you. And now we go into intercessory prayer. Here is where we pray for each other, our family members, our loved ones. We put it on the screen now so we can each pray in agreement with each other's prayers you've been praying by yourself and now you wish for the fellowship to stand in agreement with your prayers please put your request on the screen right now for those who are working or you're driving and you cannot type just speak your prayer request god hears every prayer and right now we as a fellowship are standing in agreement with every prayer going up right now, live or archive, on the screen or off the screen. Please do this now, and I'll be back with closing prayers after this.
Father God, we thank you right now, Lord, for moving mightily over all these prayer requests right now, Lord. For two or more are gathered in your name. You are in the midst. And right now, we as a fellowship are standing in agreement with all these prayers going up right now, live or archive, on the screen or off the screen, and decree and declare all these prayer requests shall come to pass. The fervent prayers of the righteous avails much. Hear our prayer, O Lord. And right now, Father God, as we continue to fast and pray day 122 until further notice Lord we fast and pray for supernatural healing change peace justice and the continuing uprooting of the grip of racism not only in our nation but in the world as we commit to humble ourselves pray seek your face turn from our wicked ways so you will indeed hear from heaven and heal our land. All these things we ask, in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God, fellowship. That's what today's lesson was all about. Learning how to give it all to the Lord. And to always remember that we need refilling too. That's what today's lesson. You can't pray for someone else if you yourself have not been refilled to be able to maintain what it takes to pray for someone else. Because whenever you pray for someone else, spiritual energy is leaving you and it's being refilled every day that gives you the energy that when you pray for others, when that spiritual energy leaves you, you're not wiped out. Because you've not prayed up when you pray for someone else, that praying for them will zap all of your energy. So you want to be prayed up, filled up, covered with the anointing before you pray for others. So that makes sure that you'll be able to be able to be used by God whenever he wants to use you because you know you're full. You know you're on fire. You know you got the anointings all over you. You know you're prayed up and now you say, use me, Lord. Pray for who? when, where, how. That's the peace of God that guards our heart and mind. And now, because we were filled, we are refilled, he can use us however he wants to and know that we're prayed up. As always, before we close, before we close, I know someone is always watching who is not understanding the praise and the worship and the prayer we just did for, for almost 30 minutes is just standing still in God's presence. So right now for the next few moments, I'll go into the prayer of salvation and the closing prayers. As always, please no typing during the prayer of salvation and the closing prayers until I do the closing at the end. Anything typed during the prayer of salvation and closing prayers will be deleted out of respect of the Holy Spirit. Right now, I'm talking to the person listening. Someone's listening right now who doesn't understand anything we've been doing, the praise, the worship, the fellowship, the worldwide fellowship, loving each other together, having never met physically because we all know how much we each love our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. But you don't understand that because your life is falling apart. Friends are stabbed you in the back. Families turned away from you. It feels like your life is falling apart. And you have no idea how you got on this channel. That's because God brought you here. You're not here by accident. 
God brought you here because he sees the pain and suffering you're going through right now. You may be here as a backslider in guilt. For whatever reason, you chose to leave God and go back into a world of sin and now your life is falling apart and the devil is telling you, once you fail God, you can never go back. And that right there is a lie from the pit of hell. No one is perfect. All have fallen short. So if you've been walking as a backslider in guilt and you want to come back to the Lord, just say the prayer of salvation over again and there's nothing the devil can do to stop you. So whether you've been walking in depression and fear and worry and suicidal, suicidal thoughts or you've been walking as a backslider and you want to come back to the Lord, I want you to pray with me right now. Repeat after me. Father God, forgive me for the wrong I've done and the wrong I've been. I believe Jesus is the Son of God. I believe he died on the cross for me and my sins and was raised from the dead. I want Jesus to be Lord and Savior of my life. And I commit right now, I will not do a single thing in life or make a single decision in life without lifting up you first. Create in me, O oh Lord, a clean heart and remove from me anything and everything that's not like you, in Jesus' name. And if you said that prayer sincerely, your spirit is now right to receive the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is a part of God that lives inside of us to teach us, to guide us, and also convict us when we're not walking in God's will. The Holy Spirit will show you people, activities, and things you're doing right now in your life which is bringing darkness into your life. And then he'll tell you exactly what you need to do to reverse it. First of all, spend time with God every day. Not just every Sunday, every day. Spend time with God. Feed your spirit, starve your flesh. Feed your faith, starve your doubt every day. And the more time you spend with God every day, the more peace you'll feel in your life which is God letting you know, it's going to be all right. God's got this. God's got you. Right now, Father God, in the name of Jesus, we as a fellowship rebuke and bind the spirits of retribution, revenge, retaliation, backlash, and every other demonic spirit, named or unnamed, seen or unseen, who may try to attack anyone in this fellowship because of their participation in this fellowship. We cast all you demonic spirits out of mind, out of our spirit, out of our home, out of our kids, out of our marriages, back to the pit of hell from which you all came in Jesus' name. And Father God, loose, Lord, into the fellowship. Loose unspeakable joy. Loose peace beyond understanding. Loose restoration, Lord. Restore Restore every area of our life. Loose reconciliation, Lord. Bring reconciliation to marriages and families right now who are struggling to survive because of the devil's attack, Lord. And Lord, please keep a hedge of protection over all the families and marriages who are not falling apart, but who the devil still attacks every day, Lord. Loose supernatural healing, physical healing, spiritual healing, emotional healing. By your stripes, we were healed. And we confess it every day, Lord. We confess it every day. I believe I received my healing in the name of Jesus. I believe I received my healing in the name of Jesus. We confess it every day. Confess it, believe it, see it, breathe it, live it, pray as if your life depends on it. P-U-S-H, pray until something happens. Loose, supernatural overflow, financial breakthrough, supernatural debt cancellation. Lord, let your blessings, the blessing abundance, Lord, blessings of abundance rain down, Lord, rain down on the fellowship of every financial need, especially during these hard times in the pandemic, Lord. For you shall supply all our need according to your riches in glory by Christ Jesus. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. I shall not want for anything when the Lord is my shepherd. 
For we're the head and not the tail. We are above and not beneath. We're the lender and not the borrower. We're blessed going in and blessed going out. We're blessed that we may be a blessing to others. We are out of debt. All of our needs are met. We have plenty more to put in store. We are children of God. And nothing shall by any means hurt us or block our blessings in any way. And finally, Lord, we thank you for our miracle, Lord. Each fellowship member has a miracle they're praying for right now. And now we know, Lord, as a fellowship, every day, Lord, we spend time visualizing it. See it every day. See it. Believe it. Receive your heart. And once you receive your heart, expect it. Expect your miracle every day. We don't know the when. We will never know the exact when. But because we don't know when, that means any day you wake up could be the day of the manifestation of the miracle you're praying for right now. May the Lord bless you and keep you, family. May the Lord make his face shine upon you, be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift his countenance upon you and give you peace that you may be a blessing to everyone you touch or speak to, a blessing to everyone you pray over, a blessing to everyone you pass by because the love and light of the Lord is all over you 24-7, 365 days a year, including the year. So Father, all these things we ask, Lord, all these things we ask, in Jesus' name we pray. And the fellowship say, Amen. Amen. Amen.